851, turn right heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. After a pretty good response to my What is the A350 2000 video, I thought I'd take a look at the Boeing 7873. Again, this isn't another made up name, but one that unfortunately we never got to see flying in the skies. The Boeing 7873 had a planned range of 4,650 to 5,650 kilometers, and that's 2,500 to 3,000 nautical miles. It was set to seat 290 to 330 passengers. While we don't have all these specifications, one could certainly say that the 7873 was planned to be an almost middle-of-the-market airliner. The Dash 3 specifically though was pitched at the Japanese market and therefore was very limited in regards to what carriers that were actually interested in it. The key design change of the 7873, while not being too significant, would certainly have changed the look of the Boeing 787 series completely. The Dash 3 would be the exact same length as the Dash 8. However, its wingspan would be 51.7 meters. This is in fact a smaller wingspan to the Dash 8. And this would be achieved through using blended winglets instead of those raked wingtips, which really add to the flex seen on the 787s nowadays. And in my opinion, this is what's made the 787 become such an iconic aircraft. What was the purpose of the 7873 though? Well, the 7873 was designed to operate on routes served by the 757-300 and the 767-200. Another key advantage to this program would be how the airliner would be able to operate into slot-restricted airports as well as congested airports with limited gates. In contrast to the A350-2000, the 7873 did actually have orders, and this came from, no surprise, ANA and JAL, and of course they are in Japan. However, the program was dealt a major blow when the two airlines who had placed orders for the Dash 3 switched to the Dash 8. The 7878 had a longer wingspan and was therefore extremely efficient. With the two prime customers cancelling their 7873 orders, Boeing didn't see the program as being necessary anymore and decided to continue with their focus on the 7878 and the eventual other variants. Operating costs of the 7873 were also another key reason why ANA and JAL decided to cancel their orders. When comparing this aircraft to even the 767s and A330s, the 7873 was simply crushed in all aspects. This was another reason as to why the two airlines moved to the 7878 and left the Dash 3 with no customers. Ultimately though, in comparison to the A350-2000, the 7873 never really hit the ground running. And seeming it was cancelled many years ago, the information on it is relatively dry. To conclude, the Boeing 7873 was cancelled in favour of the current 787 series, which consists now of the 7878, 7879 and the 78710. With Boeing eyeing the release of a new middle-of-the-market airliner, it is possible though we will see that aircraft share similar characteristics to the Boeing 7873. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I do hope you will join me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams and flight, and we'll fly.